Alright guys, welcome to your uh, next database tutorial. This is part 4 and this time we're going to adapt using a list view. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layout. Okay, and we're going to call this list row. Now the reason we're calling this list row is because we're going to need to um, we need a list view, okay? And we're going to create it to be not a list view, uh, linear layout Looking for linear layout, there we go, next and finish. So we've got list row here now, okay? So we're going to put in three text views. We're going to put in large and we're going to change its ID to name. I prefer to uh, modify properties in code like this ever since I started doing a lot of other stuff. So we're going to say this name. It doesn't really matter, this is just a default value, okay? So a list view we're going to build essentially is a list of data essentially now I'm just I, I know you can't see that off screen but I just modified the uh, line, linear layout uh, gravity to allow for that and then we're going to edit text I'm going to say uh, comment yeah, should we just use that resource there and we need to uh, change its ID okay it's, the thing's freaking out on me so I'll just use this method edit ID uh, comment Hang on a second, I think I might have just spotted a glitch. Comment in, comment in, but no, no. Oh yes, we've text views for common name and other in our actual layout. These text views, so we're gonna get rid of them. They're down the bottom, so we need to just get rid of them. Because we don't even need them anymore. Uh, name, comment, and then we're gonna have a normal text view down the bottom, which we're then gonna call email. Freaking out again. I really hate when Android does that. I'm say email. And we're going to edit text. Email. Okay. So now we have. Well, actually, we'll see if we can edit this text as well. Do we have a name? Yes, we do have a name. Okay, so we've name, comment, and email. Ready to go. That's our list view. Now we just want to make sure that this is wrap content. Layer how? Match parent. No, layer height. Wrap content. This means that the layout will only be as high as the content that's in it. That's something we need to do. So I changed there to wrap content, layout height, and layout width match parent. Okay, so now that we've developed our list row, we're gonna create what's called a simple cursor adapter, which will essentially make all the data in the database appear in rows. Now you can, list views are incredibly powerful in Android. You really can modify them and create some crazy things. So we're going to go to our new activity for our fragment, our layout, new activity. And we're going to modify this and we're going to insert a list view. So I'm going to go layouts. Is it under layouts? Nope. There, list view. Now ignore this. This will always appear with list view. Uh, these things here just to show you that there's a list view there. But we're going to call this a uh, comments list, okay? comments list. I generally, by habit when I'm doing IDs and stuff like that, I'll make the first one small and the next one big. It's just me. Okay, so in our side fragment, we now need to find some way of mapping the data of our database to the list view. So we could use a loop and add it that way, but it's actually a much easier way to do it with an adapter. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to create a, uh, a copy of our list view. List view. And we're gonna call it list. And then in here, when we found our view, we're going to make a cup. We're going to map that list variable to our list view. Okay, so it equals a view dot find view by ID, and then we're going to have lit comments. It's a comment list, comment list. Okay, so now what we've done is the Control Shift O or Control Shift and O O shortcut will help there. Ah yes. I never uh, put in my cast. There we go. List view, find view by ID, comments list. Beautiful. So now what we want to do is we want to make a cursor adapter, or a simple cursor adapter 
that's how you actually map these things. So we're actually going to disable this query button later with comments, but we're just going to make up our adapter. And I'll actually put this above the button click listeners because it's a, uh, I generally, what I like to do is I need to keep all my uh, button clicks there and map everything up here. So, list view. So we're going to create a simple cursor adapter. Object. Simple cursor A D A P T or simple cursor adapter adapter equals new and because I'm not arsed I can just copy paste that. Now we're gonna import it. Android support we that widget, that's all you want. Now Add arguments to match context int cursor string int. We're going to use this one now. Look at this. Look, this tells us that this has been depreciated because ever since Android three and four, there's actually a new method uh, called a cursor loader, and that's a very cool type of thing. It's an amazing, an amazing tool. And I really like it, okay, it's really handy, but we need to build a content provider, which is what we'll get into in the future. So we're just gonna use a simple cursor adapter for now. Okay. So we want our context. So we're gonna say get activity, because we're in a fragment. Now, as you can see here, it's telling us here, we need our int layout as our second argument. Well, our layout is actually our, so we're gonna get a reference to or.id dot, and that's our list our list row, okay? And it's or.layout actually. Dot list row. So essentially what we're saying here is that we're getting our or, our layout list row is what we're gonna map all this to. And then we know we're going to create up two more string arrays. Okay, we're going to create string array. Actually, we already have this created uh, string columns. So we're just going to copy paste this, and we'll modify this. Okay. So our string columns. We're going to create this called string from. Okay, I find this the easiest way to explain. And then we're going to create a string, a very a set of ints called two on a string int two. Oh no, hang on, what am I doing? Gotta love modeling up basic Java. Two equals. Now, what these are, essentially what we're doing here is, simple cursor adapter will take, will map the, the uh, automatically map the objects in this array. So it will map the first object in this array here, the database helper dot name column, whatever's in that column. So the cursor adapter will go through the go through the database in the data, find the first row, create a new create a new row on our list view, map this column name dbhelper.name, so the name field to whatever is the first view we put in this. Now the view we want is this one here. So that's name. So you say or dot id dot name. Okay? Now you're probably thinking, but that's not an int. Well, or IDs don't forget in this. If we go to look or, we're gonna to go to the gen files and look, there's a file in here called or. So that's the or file. And if we go to ID, it's in here, it'll actually open up or. This is a generated file. But see all this here, look, where's name? There's the int there. Now that int is stored in a weird format. But see public static final int. So we're statically referencing the IDs in that uh, file system there. That's actually what we're doing. Okay, or the ID ID name. So or dot ID dot comment for where we want the comment to go. And then or dot ID dot email. Okay, then close our curly brackets and put in our uh, comment. Or yuck. So essentially see the string argument here? So that's our from, and we're gonna say two, okay, int, yes, okay. Hmm, 
having a slight bug here, fragment activity. Oh boy. Okay, so I found the problem. It turns out this null value is not supposed to be there at all. I think. Add arguments to match cursor. Context int cursor. Oh. I'm a fool. We don't have our cursor. <laughs> we need to create the cursor. Um, yeah, so we, we need to just make a cursor. So the cursor cursor db.query blah 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 blah. Yeah. So we just need to get our cursor from down there again. I forgot about that, sorry. Yeah. So we need we need to create a cursor for it to use. And we need to we'll just create this from because it's the same thing. Yeah. That's what it is. Sorry about that guys, I made a bit of a hiccup. Anyway, now we just need to set our tell the list view to use the adapter. So we're gonna say list dot set adapter. And then adapter. Yeah, so nicely set up. Okay. So now when we run this, we're most likely gonna crash. There's gonna be some sort of crazy bug I'm gonna have to work out. But when we click run, we should be able to go into that fragment and it should automatically tell us uh, a list should pop up down here somewhere of all the things in this database. Yeah, what did I tell you? We got a crash. We've got some sort of bug. I'm going to go work that out. Okay, so I think I've solved the bug. Um, we're going to duplicate this uh, value here because the cursor doesn't actually contain the ID value. You'll see what I mean in this, but we're just going to say column. And we're going to modify this to have another variable. So db. I believe this should fix it. Um, what happened was the cursor needs a variable call or a, an, a column, an ID column to work properly. I think that's the error. So if we run this, it should work. We'll just test it now. Yeah, so that was the problem. We just need the CID row in the actual uh, cursor. But if we hit press me now, I entered some more garbage data. And this is coming up. But as you can see, our list view is now showing up our objects, our name, comment. I just put in a load of crap <laughs> administration. I put in a load of crap data in here to show you. But that's how, that's how cursor adapters work. So you can adapt that data into a list view. And you can, you can put limiters, selection arguments, uh, order by so you can tell it's order by descending and a certain order by time descending whatever we need now the reason the data was gone was because if you reinstall the app you cleared it so if I may if I wanted to add another column to that database I'd have to reinstall uh, you know uninstall the app from the emulator reinstall it and then that column would be there but that's how you do that that's a uh, simple cursor adapters and list views uh, we'll get on to more advanced cursor loaders in the future, but that's the end of databases part four It's been good talk guys. I'll see you out there